Welcome, I am Raghav and today I am going to talk about DevOps for people who are beginner or who wants to create their career in DevOps so that we should first understand what DevOps is and what is this entire process or buzzword all about. So today I get a lot of questions on people who say I want to become a DevOps engineer, I want to come into DevOps, what should I do? So we should understand this, this is a, a very hot buzzword nowadays but there are very few people who actually understand what actually DevOps is. Now DevOps is not some tools that you can just learn and become a DevOps engineer or a DevOps person. It is a complete process and this is a process which is present in almost every section of your project. So this is a process that you implement in your project and it helps in not just automating your individual sections but also helps in a complete flow of information in a streamlined way. Now let me uh, take you to Google and I will make you understand what this actually means. I will go to Google and here I will search for DevOps process and I'll go to the images. Now here you can see there are different images. Uh, let me show you uh, this image. Now here you can see we have this entire project lifecycle which starts from planning then we have coding, build, test and this section we have release, deployment, operate and monitor. Now if you look at the left section here most of the things is what we do in dev and test so this is kind of our dev in DevOps it also includes the QA and this is the operations part or the ops part which is release, deployment, operate and monitor and that is why we call it as DevOps. Now this is a completely integrated system with continuous integration and continuous delivery. Uh, let me also show you uh, another image that will make it very clear. Let me show you this one. So you can see DevOps comprises from planning, coding, building, testing. This comes under Dev and then uh, release, deployment, operating and monitoring comes under operations. So I hope you have got an uh, initial understanding why we call it as DevOps and this is actually a process. Now there are some tools that help in this process and if I search for DevOps tools and here I'll go to some simple image first to show you. You can see this one. Now here you can see in this image you can see we have different tools for every section of the project. So from planning to coding and until to monitoring there are some different tools that can help us automate that particular section. However uh, one very important thing is you should not look at these tools as a, a means of automating that particular section. In DevOps, we also say that the flow of information should be streamlined and should be very smooth from one section to another and vice versa. So for example, if you are do going to automate your testing, you can use automation tools but at the same time, you have to ensure that the flow of information should flow uh, in a very efficient manner from testing phase to the next phase and also you should be able to get a feedback uh, from the next stage or should be able to give a feedback to the earlier stage. So here you can see there are different tools. So for example for testing in case you are doing a te testing of a web browser application you can use Selenium and then other similar tools. For building there are some tools. In fact there are a lot of tools if you see here uh, in this image this has a uh, more options. So for testing there can be any, so, so many tools for developments, for planning, for operating, for release and in fact there is another image where somebody has actually created a complete periodic table of DevOps tools for every section there are all the options given here. So basically you have a lot of tools that you can use for DevOps process but what you should always take care of whenever you are using these tools we have to make sure the flow of information is streamlined. Now I also mean that we should be also be able to get a feedback properly. For example you have deployed your application and your application is now being used by the end user. In case there is any issue and the customer gives you a feedback using the DevOps process 
you should be able to track it back to every section of the project until the last section. So that is also a very important aspect of DevOps. So it is not just automation. It is not just using automation tools. It is not just automating your particular sections. It is all about flow of information from first section to the last section and vice versa. So now if you are uh, planning to implement DevOps in your project or in your company and you are at a position where you are managing an entire project then you can look at all your sections you can see what are the tools you can use and you also have to ensure the flow of information is proper if you are working on some particular section like uh, you are into QA or testing you can see what are the tools you can use as per your application and then also ensure that you should have a mechanism for the flow of information. So this in very easy words is what DevOps is. I will make some more uh, videos and courses on how you can become a DevOps engineer and on some tools on DevOps. So keep watching for that. And in case you have any thoughts on this video, please let me know in the comment section below and I will reply to you. So I hope this was useful. Thank you so much for watching.